Alright there boy, I am uh, Let Him Come In It, and today I'll be playing through the original Dungeon Keeper campaign. Uh, it's a game I probably spent way too much time as a kid growing up playing, and I didn't actually own it myself. A uh, mate down the road had it, and I used to watch him slapping bar demons around his dungeon, so naturally I had to have it myself. But anyway, without further ado... Ever smile. Set in the realm of joy, the people of Eversmile are plagued only by aching facial muscles, and not anthrax as we had hoped. Eversmile is a disgusting land of good humour and polite frivolity. Alright, this is the first world. Uh, get a little place marker there, show you where you are. Uh, you can move around, it's just by the mouse, it's a little bit sensitive. These are all little realms you go to, and once you beat them they turn red, which you'll see later. Anyway, straight off the bat, one thing I love, look how quick loading time is. Disc, boom, straight into the game. I don't get that anymore these days. Okay, right, this is your overview. Uh, you've got your little imps here, the hand cursor. The buttons don't really like being in this view. You can swing it round by the home and the end button is zoom in and zoom out. Some people like playing it right up here, but I prefer to be a little bit close to the action. Uh, page down is left, uh, delete is right round. So anyway, uh, put it slightly isometrically so you can kind of see what's going on. Uh, the first thing a keeper needs is somewhere to keep gold. When it's been mined out the rock by his imps, to create a treasure room, select the treasure room icon from the room panel and fill the empty area to the west with a treasure room tile. So basically it's going to walk you through it, baby steps, each step of the way. There is your room. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Expertly done. Press the right mouse button to turn the pointer back to the hand of evil. Mine out the gold to the east by tagging the area with the left mouse button. Your imps will dig out the gold and carry it back to your treasure room. Uh, there are your imps. You can slap them with the right hand to make them go a little bit quicker. Uh, they do lose health if you continuously slap them to death though, but you may find yourself doing that later in the campaign when you're pissed off with them. Whilst they're mining us out, these are little information panels you get. Use the cursor keys to see other areas. The underworld, rotate and zoom, view control key and cursor keys. You can use the control key as well, but I just use these ones up by the number pad. There's that. Uh, if you want to make the creatures work harder, slap them. There you go. Explanatory by right clicking the hand of evil, slapping them will harm your creatures. You can delete these with the right click of the button as well. It does make the mining out a little bit quicker. Uh, top panel up here, here is the map screen. This is very useful for finding secret areas. Anything around the outside, usually you can spot them. So I can't remember if there's anything secret in this level. I don't think there is, but I'll tell you later if you miss it. Use the left mouse button to pluck your creatures from the dungeon. Right mouse button to drop them over a room belonging to the dungeon. Creatures perform tasks most relevant to the situation they're dropped into. At the moment, don't have any creatures. This will, once I've mined this out, it will probably tell me to mine up to here, but I'll do that myself anyway. This you is your portal. into a new area. Sorry. Tunneled into a new area. Later on, they'll bring some heroes down here and mine through here and try and attack you, basically. Now, I will be running through the levels fairly quickly. Uh, oh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Greedily, greedily done, Keeper. Now, you need to turn some of your dungeons into lair. Lairs are where creatures rest and recover. The area your imps just mined out would be an ideal spot for some creatures to lurk. Select the lair icon from the room panel. Here you go. And you have the lair. Place the entrance has been cleaned. Thank you. Exactly what he just said. Dig a tunnel that connects the portal to the north. Portals appear on the map as flashing squares until they are claimed. Ah, uh, ah, uh, brilliant. Too quick. Your first minion has arrived. It's a giant fly. It can spit corrosive vomit at your enemies, and its wings grant the hideous and six speed to incite the most nimble trespassers. And you can zoom in. See your little fly here. Very weak. First level creature. Only really good for exploring. Uh, I'm now on the spells panel. You can zoom in 
and become a creature, control it, move around, attack things, mine if you're an imp, blah blah blah. But I guess I'll explain that later, getting ahead of myself. A beetle has scuttled into your realm. It's tough enough to absorb a lot of damage. Like most creatures, beetles require food. Dig out a new area, select the hatchery icon and create your hatchery. Tasty snacks will soon emerge from its enchanted soil. Yes. Yes. And the hatchery. This is where your creatures eat food, recover, and generally murder chickens. Uh, it's interesting, each of them will have its own little animation as to how they eat. And hopefully I'll show you that in a minute. Here is the beetle. Again, a bit of a cruddy creature. Even at level 10. Uh, you can train your creatures up. Uh, you get a training room later on. Which, uh, they gain new abilities and... Uh, become stronger etc etc but even at level 10 flies and beetles are generally just uh, cannon fodder or dungeon fodder whatever you want to call them anyway hatchery time boom 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 Imps fortify walls to prevent intruders tunnelling in. If you want to create more imps, go to the research panel, select the imp icon, left click anywhere in your dungeon. Each imp you create costs more than the previous one. Yes. I usually have myself eight imps in the dungeon. Oh, that's seven. Not necessarily on a level like this, to be honest, but you can hold eight are more efficient. You can hold eight creatures at one time. So they go four and four. So if there's a. Uh, Shut up. Uh, if there is a intruder attack, intruder attack, you can pick them all up in your hand and stop them being killed because they are notoriously stupid and annoying creatures. Uh, what have I got going on here? Oh dear, it's gone already. Intruders approach. They seek gaps in your fortifications in order to gain entry to your dungeon. A white trail on the map indicates their progress. Click the icon at the top of the control panel to see a bigger map. Yes. And here we go. Here they come. They will come around any walls you don't have fortified. They will break through, basically. And this level, they've made it so there's water around here. And they don't give you a bridge. So they will have a way in. Um, but that's part, of, part to the core of your training on this mission. Anyway, it will take quite a while for them to get around there. You can pick up all your beetles and flies. And when they get in, drop them on them. And to be honest, I kind of want to speed this process up. So, you there, him. Mine through that wall. You have tunneled into a new area. Your creatures are under there. attack. Much the enemy has there. broken through your walls. Or miner. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Go on, my son. Are winning a battle. My creatures are terrible. The enemy heroes are even more terrible at this stage. So, your creatures are under attack. And let's have you as well. Your creatures and are attacking the enemy. Go on, my son. The, you, I don't know if you can actually click on the enemy heroes. No, you can't. But when you own them, you can. You can find out all about them. And my flies about your to die. Your are winning a battle, but I don't care. Save your first victory while you can. You have attracted the wrath of the Lord of this realm. His party will soon be here. Yep, heroes will occasionally drop gold. And you can just steal that and lob it in there. Anyway. Uh, at the end of the level, the Lord of the Land will come and attack you. Uh, just on the question panel here, information panel. Uh, it shows you when payday is. How much payday is. Uh, that's your research panel. Beware, the Lord of the Land approaches. We come to rid the world of your evil. How many creatures? Your creatures How many are under attack. And I'll show you that later. Oh, your creatures oh, are attacking oh. the enemy. Don't let the flies go in there first. Beetles. In you go. And flies afterwards. Anyway, this is the Lord of the Land, or Lord of the Realm. He uh, he'll come at the end of each level. There's uh, you have to defeat a uh, CPU player, basically. Your creatures are falling in battle. I don't care about the beetle dying, because I will overwhelm them with sheer numbers. Your minions are winning a battle. Anyway, he is you have dead. conquered this realm. Your imps will take the gold, but uh, sometimes it's quicker if you just do it yourself. Anyway, boom, boom, boom. Your work here is done, and now there is no one to prevent you from obliterating the nauseating realm and expanding your empire into a neighbouring land. Nice. Nice indeed. Oh, 
success. The land's yours, press space bar to succeed to the next realm. So anyway, that was the first level. Uh, it just takes you through it in baby steps, really. Kind of introduces you to the main functions of the game. Uh, you have a lot of crappy, crappy, crappy creatures. And it's quite easy to win. But anyway, there you go. I'll show you the exit screen now quickly as well. And you'll hear the exit bloke. Branna Hawk. War and anthrax have taken to this land like fleas to a rat. The region is, thanks to your unstinting efforts, now a major eyesore. Anyway, gotta love the voiceover guy. He's uh, he's also on the new one, uh, or the one that's on Steam, not a uh, spiritual successor, I would say. Anyway, here's your little cut down. It will show you the creatures attracted, efficiency, time, star rating. There's also loads of interesting little bits in here that are going almost too quick. Oh, I never knew you could do that. Can I do it again? I don't seem to be able to. But there's little little tidbits in there saying like lies told, uh, people corrupted, blah, blah, blah. If you have the time, you could slow the video down and actually read them. But I'm not going to. Anyway, that was the first level. That's part one. And part two will follow. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, I'll also put my name in. Why not? Okay, yeah, that's the official goodbye. Goodbye and come back next time.